the hunk are you today? Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dan O. And uh, I've been working on some stuff here, and uh, we're going to be talking about uh, Corgi and uh, the Land Rover 109 wheelbase Corgis. And uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff to talk about Corgis and different gift sets and things like that. But there's one thing that I've got to take care of and um, talk about first because, uh, well, maybe you guys could help me out. <laughs> um, basically, on a Corgi, and we're going to pick one out here uh, that's uh, not uh, violated or uh, munip, mun uh, I don't know, whatever, uh, you can see that they have very nice wheels on them. And they say Corgi on them, okay? And this is a concave hub. See how that's kind of machined there and nice and neat? All right, so that's kind of the basis of what they started out as and looked like. Now, the older ones were cast and they had like a, um, yeah, spoke to them, you know? And uh, so they were cast. This is kind of a cast thing. And, you know, looking at these uh, things, it's very, very hard to kind of pinpoint the progression and stuff like that of these things. But uh, they're small hubs, large hubs, uh, large wheels, like this one here is a very large wheel. I believe that is stock. And then this is kind of a small wheel that uh, came out on that. And uh, you know, and you know, I get these uh, secondhand market. I get them used. I get them off eBay usually. Uh, I have found some of these things in the wild here. Uh, but sometimes I come across things on eBay and I buy them. And then I get them home, or get them here, and uh, yikes, what were we thinking, all right? So this one here obviously was uh, uh, started to be customized. It's missing its interior. It has a uh, spare tire on the top there. Don't really know exactly what's going on there, but if you look at the color inside, it looks like one of these buggers, okay? And we're going to talk about this uh, particular model later on, but right now I'm trying to uh, oh, trying to uh, anchor down and get some uh, answers on uh, these wheels that we got going on. I know that you can go ahead and you can buy replacement wheels on eBay, and they're kind of spendy, you know. But uh, man. Uh, a lot of stuff going on. This this one uh, has a different axle in it. I believe those are stock concave painted. Normally they're not painted. Concave hubs. And then the wheels are kind of wonky. As you can see, this one here is really small. I'm not really sure what that's off of. But then this one's not so bad. But then it's, you know, not really all that good. <laughs> so so that's kind of different there um you know there's bigger sizes and then i got this one here and it came with white wheels so somebody out there i know i know that that is not stock that's not original and uh, so yeah there you go i, I it's like uh, where did these come from you know it's like wow Man, where did it go? But it's kind of neat, kind of neat. Uh, but there you go, so that's that. So, and then later on, uh, they did do whiz wheels. And this is towards the 70s and that. And they went with a plastic wheel and, uh, you know, good, good punchy suspension and stuff like that. Very much a later model uh, that way. And uh, so anyway, so we're just talking about... Uh, these uh, 17 millimeter tires and uh, the different concave and then the wire spoke or the cast 
uh, hubs. So we're uh, doing it there like that. Anyway, so I'm going to show you a trick that I have found out from my local hardware Hank store. Yeah, can you believe it? All right, what you're gonna wanna do is find yourself a 1 18th uh, thickness ID, that's inner diameter of 5 16ths and an outer diameter of 9 16ths. And these are little O-rings that you can buy uh, usually they, they have them at the hardware store, although uh, sometimes it's hard to find. But uh, these cost me like 39 cents a piece, okay? All right, on eBay, you can go on eBay and you can buy the uh, actual, well, they're actual reproductions. So they're not actual, they're, they're reproductions. I got one stuck in here. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> All right, there he goes. So yeah, so you can try your local hardware store. These are O-rings. Uh, usually there's a little cabinet of them, multiple sizes. Uh, but what you want is, I'm gonna put that up there, you can stream, screenshot that. And uh, what happens is, we get this around here. You can put these buggers on your, <clears throat> excuse me, on your corgis. They're not perfect. They're not white, <laughs> but they're not perfect. But the car isn't sitting on the rims. <laughs> so there you go. They're pretty close to uh, original uh, sizes. Now I don't have a regular regular one here. They're not too awfully bad as far as uh, sizes. They're a little bit small, but you know, uh, sitting in my display case, I'd rather have them sitting on something than sitting on the rims. We we don't live in Chicago around here. <laughs> so anyway, so I wanted to show you this. So in the future, I'm going to have uh, videos on this particular Corgi and um, on this particular Corgi. And I like to keep them the way I got them, but I do like to, uh, you know, fix them up if I can with simple uh, things like this, you know? Um, yeah, so there you go. So we're just gonna go ahead here. I've got a couple more. I bought, I bought plenty of wheels. This one here is a pretty rough shaped one, but uh, I think I got a red uh, breakdown truck that needs some tires too. That's over on the other side there. But uh, there you go, so concave. And these are usually um, um, uh, spun versus the, uh, the uh, wire spoke ones are cast. So they would call them cast. All right. All right. Well, there you go. So that's kind of a corgi wheel variations. And uh, boy, they, they really uh, do bounce and they're really nice and stuff like that. But it's nice to have wheels on them at least so you can uh, you know roll them around a little bit and uh, stuff like that I'm not, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with this one take all the wheels off and put a I mean I might I'm gonna probably customize this one because he's he's a you know <laughs> yeah he's he's missing the interior missing the glass uh, the wheels don't match uh, but the thing of it is I take these wheels off there's nothing I really want to put them on uh, you know, because it, they're not really uh, corgi wheels anyway. But uh, but yeah, so that looks a whole lot nicer than having them just on the rims. So there you go, folks. That's my tip of the day there. We're going to be talking more about the corgi. Oh, man, it's... Uh, what are they? The four... 428, the, the I, play set number two, play set number 19. But anyway, get down to the hardware store if you got some of these and you need some wheels. You know, I bought uh, 12 of them for, uh, you know, five bucks. And I put, you know, where, you know, five bucks will only get you a set of four and then they're replicate, you know, rep reproductions anyway. So anyway, Shout out, I told the guy there, he said he was a YouTube watcher, so 
I told him he owns the shop there in New Lisbon. He said, hey, go over there and watch me. I'm going to give you a shout out for keeping these in stock. <laughs> Not everybody's got them, but maybe they could order them. But that's uh, inner diameter and outer diameter, ID and OD. And uh, I don't know, maybe they could do a little bit bigger size. I'm not really sure. But there you go. We're going to talk about Corgis coming up, the 109 wheelbases coming up. So I wanted to talk a little bit about the tires and uh, everything, uh, whiz wheels, get that out of the way. So uh, we'll, you know, talk more about it. All righty. Give me a big thumbs up on this video if you like what you see. Uh, if you like what you're seeing here, this is going to be coming up in uh, upcoming videos. Um, probably one here, one there, one there, one over there. Uh, there. I've got quite a few. i got more over on the shelf over here. So, uh, yeah, we've got a lot of things to talk about. So, there you go. Come over on Facebook and join me on Facebook if you want. That's uh, Roverland, and on Instagram, this is those cool wheels, and Instagram at Roverland Channel. All right, that's going to do it for today, everybody. Remember, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great Rover day.